Hello, everybody. Cindy Ashton here, CEO of Minerva Enterprises. Claudia Harvey, Craig Dunkerley, thank you so much for joining us on Our Voice 2, Building True Wealth. Thank you so much for being here. So let me ask you this. How can you connect with your money in a way that's meaningful and make that knowledge work for you to grow your wealth? Literally, I became a client of Craig's when I walked into his room when he was speaking about connecting with your money. It's like getting him into my personal world and getting connected to him and then finding his knowledge. And that he has literally saved us and my husband thousands and thousands of dollars in taxes. And that way we could invest in other opportunities and then grow and build our wealth positively. Most people are not connected with their money and that's the problem. They're afraid of it right from the beginning. Yes, It can be a tax write off. So even just a simple shift, in thinking about the stuff you bought and how it relates to your business is amazing how it can start to shift your mind towards thinking about your money a little bit more. And so what would you say are the first steps to connect with your money and make that knowledge work for you? It's really the mindset, isn't it? It's realizing that you don't have all the answers, that that you've been indoctrined in yeah. philosophies that your parents talked about that your teachers talk about that your environment talks about that your bank talks about that your commercials on TV talk about you're indoctrined into this mindset right. and it's like that doesn't have to be that way while we're talking about that then how can we avoid those common mistakes and make those smart investments it's it's really about connecting with with the right people I believe Cindy you know, I was very fortunate just to step off for a second just like you my dad shared all the finances of the family with me as a kid and I knew the strategies he was using to invest. And it, it started with, with the investments, really, the RSPs, the 401ks in the US, same thing. And it started with the fact that the banks and the institutions were getting super wealthy and the average individual wasn't. And many people don't realize that 60 to 70 percent of the profit potential in their investments is likely going to their institution. And it is easy to change, but you need to look that a change is needed and connect with the people who understand what change is required. Because they're not connected to their money, they don't understand what it's doing or more specifically what it's not doing for them. And they don't realize until they're close to retirement, and, oh my gosh, I don't have enough. How many people we meet with and they say, well, I don't have any extra money at the end of the month or the end of the year to invest. Well, let's look at that for a minute because you've got a lot of money going out the door to taxes. If we can claw some of that back, boom it's free money let's get it invested get your money working for you and so many people need to understand what is actually available to them if they just structure things a little bit different being a woman i know lots of women that make themselves feel better at the day because they shop they become shopaholics to you know to to bolster something yeah. and it's when you get out of the money habit and you start learning how to save the money and put the money to use in better ways than making yourself feel better buying a purse or a lipstick or shoes, but actually buying investments and those investments start working for you, that makes you feel good too. Let's talk about networking because if you network correctly, it builds your wealth. So how do we use networking to connect with influencers who can propel your career? Listening to what they say and being open-minded about that and opening up your network to be open-minded that some people will come into your life that will literally change the course of your life. Yeah. If you're open to the concept of meeting new people, those people have different messages that, are, that you just don't know about. You don't know what you don't know in life and you find people that are like-minded, they have the same attitude, they have the same mindset, and but they have different knowledge than you. You incorporate that knowledge into your world, into your life, and you become stronger, you network with them, they become stronger because it becomes a win-win situation. You know, so many people go to networking just to sell their stuff, and really to, to me, to go to networking, you know, people don't want to be sold anymore, right? They, they want information, they want to grow themselves, and really, when I go to a networking event, it's all about meeting the influencers. Who's there who knows something that can add value to my life? And maybe I can add some value to theirs as well. But meeting those influencers, the people who have bigger networks than just the room you may be in at that time. It's interesting because I, I rarely network because I always find that because I'm an influencer and so are you. I'm very strategic about where I network because I need people stronger than me. You yeah. need to network where you've got people stronger than you and you have to be able to network um, where there are influencers that you can learn from, but you can also be of service. What do they even have? I don't have anything that they want. And that's the mindset. That's the shifting of the mindset that 
you are unique. You have unique experiences, unique opportunities in life that you can bring to the table and you have something that somebody else wants and wants to hear about. So it's shifting the mindset to be positive and strong and taking control of your environment and finding the right people that match what you have to give. And I think when you go in with that mindset and that energy, you're more likely to attract people who want to come to you and work with you and build more. But yeah, I mean, and that's the thing is, is that is that know your worth, go to the right circles and really think in advance, like you've said about who's in that room, who can I serve, who can I learn from? Surround yourself with positive people. Yeah. Limit the noise and the toxicity in your life if you've got toxic people. Sometimes it's very hard to eliminate them from your world, but limit the, eliminate the noise. Find people that can support you, reach out, and many, many, many people will not turn you away, including us. Get around the right people, they'll lift you up, positive energies, and it's amazing where it'll take you. Who you hang out with matters. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't mean you can't have friends of all walks of life, I certainly do. Absolutely. But where I spend most of my time is in certain energies. Thank you so much for joining Our Voice 2.